Oh, that's somewhere else. It's not... It's not the basement we went into. Let's have a look around. Nice little scrolls. Always going to take. And the music sounds like something bad is going to happen. I hope not. But I mean, why didn't she go back to her? Or like to her friend who wrote her? I don't know. Read that one. No, I think this one is new. Oral histories of Faerun. Gith and Mind Flayers. Because I think that's especially a very interesting one. This book comprises several chapters, one for each cited source. It claims to contain first hand transcriptions of the oral histories of several storytellers throughout the realm. Chapter 4 Paladar the Swift, 700 years of age. Wood elf storyteller hailing from the wood of sharp teeth. It took me several ten days of quiet habitation in the woods before the venerable Paladar felt uncomfortable revealing his presence to me. Felt comfortable. The longer I stayed, demonstrating I was no threat to his health and peace, the more open he was to gentle inquiry. This tale, relayed to me on a chilly morning as we stoked a small fire between us, was like none I ever heard before or since. I asked if it were fiction, and he insisted empathetically it was a true at his own right eye. Long ago, before my eyes and ears, before your lonesome quill, dear scribe, there was an empire of people, or perhaps only belief. An empire of brain eaters, soul wasters. They called themselves Elithids, the flayer of minds. The children of Gif were bowed, bent in service to the flayers, a passionate people made to serve a cold belief. The flayers were untouchable, their minds a great oppressor, no proud will or passion could break Gith's children free. Until, at last, a reckoning, its source unknown, its power unproven, but its event history-making. The coward would not be cracked, Gith's children fought back valiantly, their freedom theirs, the flayers bent, and broken till today. That's why they hate the Gith Yankee, or the Gith in general. There are two Gith people, there are Gith Yankee and Gith Zerai, I think. And that's why they hate the mind players so much and try to, especially the Githyanki, try to eradicate them with any means possible. Like also, uh, Blackith, the uh, Lich Queen of the Githyanki, uh, made a deal with Tiamat, so the goddess of uh, all the chromatic dragons, which is very, very evil. Um, so another point that they are not the best of people. The Spark Wall. The wearer can't be electrocuted. Runs resistance to lightning damage. I mean, if anyone has still a slot free for a ring, let's take it. That sounds very specific. Ah, uh, here we go. And the horse diary. The Leonor's diary. Crisp cursor fills the pages of the diary, detailing the daily struggle of a cleric of Mistra studying the magical properties of the Underdark. The last entry dates back about 10 years. Time. To Alteric, 1481. Who would have thought three years ago that I would start a diary? Not a research journal, but a real diary. I guess when every soul is more like to kill you than converse with you, talking to a book starts making sense. And who would have thought three years ago that I would be called back to Baldur's Gate to confer with the other clerics of Mistra right at the apex of my studies? I have all the pieces. But I've barely started my treaties. No matter. I will take my ring with me to show them a glimpse of the possibilities. I will leave you, my dear book, here, together with the rest of my research, waiting to be finished. I should be back before next chess. L D H. The Leonor de Horst. So either she decided to stay in Baldur's Gate. Not as bad as it could have. Or she died somewhere on the way there, in Baldur's Gate, or on the way back. Staff of Arcane Blessing. What can you do? You look interesting. Uh, you can cast Bless. Press an additional Mistrust Blessing, additional 1d4 to saving throws and weapon attacks, and an additional 2d4 to spell attack rolls. 
That sounds quite cool. Let's give it to Gale. Yeah, that was the wrong one, I think. Or not? No, it's the right one. Shouldn't but why did she leave her staff tonight. here? Mm. Ah. Why is everything creaking? I know, if you follow me, you will be definitely not surprised at all. But I'm not made for horror games. Where do we end up now? Okay, tower. Ah, this is an illusion. No, it's not an illusion. It's actually a solid brick wall. But you have to come from this way to open it. Curious. So, I think that's it, actually, for the Underdark. And here. Sort of just a small look over our quests. I oh, know, we can go back to Omelum with the mushrooms we found. But beside that, I think that's it. Right, back to the Mykonoid Grove colony. Spoken with Chris lately. Who is Chris? Yes, she is cataloging Corotoan fertility rituals. She's cataloging what? Oh, well perhaps after I finish my research here, <laughs> I'll join her. Hmm, <laughs> fertility rituals are the most interesting ones. All right, my favorite mind flayer. I Let's greet see. you, child of the sun. How has your search for the mushrooms fared? <laughs> I think we talked about those, right? He told us that he was just one day disconnected from his uh, elder brain. Kind of confusing that sometimes all those um, dialogue options pop back up, even though you already talked about them. Yeah, I found those mushrooms you all were looking for. These are fine specimens. It will only take me a moment to brew them to proper potency. Omeluum turns away to prepare Is it the, the rule of three? Lost in its own musings. You must drink the entire. I wonder if that's draft. a good idea. I can make no promises as to its taste. <laughs> mm. So, before I drink it, um, I mean I'm all curious and trusting, but what exactly is this going to do to me? It will lower the psionic defenses around the lava. Is that good? If I cannot remove it, I may still be able to tell you more about its origin. Ah, Garen is too curious for his own good. Omelon watches you with cautious intensity. It mm. expects doubt. It expects fear. What aren't you telling me? Is this experiment dangerous? Only in that you may be a danger to yourself. What the potion may make you see or feel, I cannot determine. But unless you are already a step from death, it will not kill you. <laughs> Reassuring. Oh, I trust him. Mm, especially from Garen's point of view, I think he also trusts the Mind Flayer. I mean, as far as trust goes with strangers you meet. But it's more like, is that a good idea to do that? Not like Omelo means any evil intent. But more like, what will happen if I do that? But curiosity killed the tieflings, so Garen decides to drink the potion. The acidic liquid tightens Say your throat, constitution. burning on the way down. It's a bolt of agony straight to your stomach. Not a drop left. Very good. As the potion influences your mind, oh, you no. may find yourself acting irrationally. Try and stay focused. The world loses its edges, its finer boundaries. You are fluid, but trapped like a creature suspended in amber. Mm, okay, we can either succumb to that, which I don't think is the best. Hmm... 
Let's try to focus on the present, not the illusions. And let's hope that works. Nice. Barely. <laughs> A few sparks and colors dance around Omeluum, but you stay steady and staring ahead. The tank like spasms, seizes. It's fighting the potion even harder than you are. Fear pierces your mind like knives of ice. Mm. The parasite digs deeper, as if it means to hollow out your skull. I wonder if I would succumb to that. If, like, the parasite gains control for a short part, or if something worse even happens. Um... So let's try to... Um, I think that sounds like the most fitting one. Garen tries to drown out the tadpole by focusing on a tune he likes. Uh, 15. You know what? Let's go all out. That was the most epic sound of the throwing die. Forbidden knowledge. Forbidden knowledge? What was that? Hmm. The cold blades lose their edge. You are stalwart, turning that tide of fear against itself. The parasite swells with power. More power oh. than you have ever felt before. Oh. It surges and twists, lashing out against that which would dare to intrude. The parasite in your mind quiets, pleased with itself. Parasite is Omelu. stronger than Omelu. Are you well? That larva is. is like nothing I have ever observed before. Its power is unsettling. Oh no. They'll just grow inside me. There's more power than ever. That backfired. Such an outcome was not in my calculations. Mm. There is more to this being than mere stasis. So I went through all this and the temple still lodged in my brain. Indeed. Although I may have another solution, mm. albeit a temporary one. I possess a ring of mind shielding. It prevents elder brains from noticing my presence. It will not remove the lava, but it will limit its influence, both positive mm. and negative. I would offer it as a gift, but in truth, the ring is priceless. Is there anything you could offer me in turn? I mean, he still seems like a nice guy, even though it backfired. Um, hmm. I'm very curious about how that ring, or getting this ring, affects the story. Like, what does it do with our guardian in the dreams? Will he comment on that? Um, what's happening to our tadpole? Does something bad happen if we don't take the ring? And also, what happens to Omelum? Like, is he discovered then by a, by an elder brain? Because he doesn't possess the ring anymore? Hmm. <laughs> Performed the tale of your adventure so far. The Ballad of Brains, Brian Pools, and Baladash. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Garen decides to perform the tale of his adventures so far. The Ballad of Brains, Brian Pools, and Baladash. Come on, performance. Nice. An epic tale. As a Meloan watches your performance, something stirs in his mind. Unusual for an illithid. Joy. Aww. Here. He entertained a it mind flare. Yours. Who can say that about themselves? May it serve you as well as it has served me. Nice. Helps not to judge a book by its cover, doesn't it? Of course, True. the lava remains. 
Be ever vigilant of its growth. I would definitely agree. I think it's also quite cool that you even have a mind flayer like separated from their usual hive mind and society. Be cool to have that kind of insight. Yeah, he seems very cool. Okay, let's have a look at that ring. You have advantage on saving throws against charmed. Hmm. Yeah, let's change it against the light one. Let's go in. We can give it to Karlach. Even though at least currently everyone has dark vision, so. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Yeah. Sad that it couldn't help us in any way, and we also didn't get like any new insights. We just know that it's survival instinct. Oh, we actually got an illithid power. Was the procedure? Mm. How is your more Interesting. Let's have a look. It fuses a creature of psionic force. If it reaches zero hit points, it heals instead of falling unconscious. Is difficult to I mean, that's a very tempting power, but at least so far, Garen is rather skeptical. Look at that animation if you would use it, especially with the mind flare in the background. I was kind of confused that I could use it, even though I have the ring. All right, what now? Anyway. Mm. Swift as my feet can Let's see if he can tell us something more. I greet you, son child. Oh, we can can uh, trade with him. Let me see your wares. Look if he has anything interesting. Shades for circlets. Uh -huh. I think we all have interesting headgears. You're solving. Are you restore more? Let's see, that could be interesting for Shadowheart. Precious ring, spark wall. Let's buy for Shadowheart. I think that's a good investment. Ooh, and a pearl of power. Mm, let's buy that. With that, we can restore another spell slot. And I think that's quite cool. Hmm. Alexi of Psychic Resistance. <laughs> and here, once again, I can say the same as I said in my early Access Let's Play. I brought him Tongue of Madness and I had to search it for him and Tim has spores. And now he sells them. I still May think that's weird. Be safe and swift. I mean, it could be leftovers, as uh, Marcus Hicks on YouTube stated back then. But, um... Ah, uh, we gave you to Shadowheart. So, ring of solving. Um, let's see what the amulet can do. Uh, a lesson restoration. Yeah, so you can just replenish another spell slot. Which is neat. I've got a long road ahead. Alright, I think that's it, so we can go to the Adamantine Forge. Or on our travel to find it, <laughs> more likely. Another step forward. And hope we can save the deep gnomes. And hopefully we can also find out like why did Nier even want and the Doega even want to kill the Mykonoids? Like, they don't really have anything of interest, right? is ready to sail. Let's sail into the darkness. It's quite the cool raft. Looks like kind of sinister. Fitting for the I guess. Time for sailing adventure. Make a survival check. <laughs> you failed. Your boat sinks. Uh, and of course we're not alone. 